What's up, guys? Star Snipe here. Uh, is there volume on? I don't quite hear anything. Maybe it's because I'm not here now. Okay, that's good. Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see today, I have a hopefully new invention that some of you don't know about. Uh, I'm just going to keep... Uh, I, this can definitely be a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I just kept it A, practical, and B, just uh, open enough so you can see. So what I will be demonstrating today is a bridge and with the, you know, some water. Kind of a cool thing to make for like a border between like two different countries if in like a role playing uh, whatever. Let me just uh, <laughs> let me just turn off monsters and some creative and stuff. Anyways, what I will be demonstrating, damn it! Uh, what I will be demonstrating today is uh, well, uh, but you'll see. I just watch this, eh? Oh no, my bridge! It has been blown up. Whatever shall I do? What is this? My build? My bridge? It is magically rebuilding. I can go home now. Oh no, this dropped. It's not good. Uh, let me put that back. Yeah, see, it's, it, there's collateral damage and stuff, but hey, what can I do about it? But look at this. My bridge, it's magically rebuilding. Magic. Look at this. It's magically rebuilding. It's amazing. Oh no, I fell through. No. Anyways. Uh, I will be showing why it is magically rebuilding right now because what this is is a automatically rebuilding, uh, automatically rebuilding bridge that I made aesthetically pleasing uh, by making it look like that. Uh, I'm gonna top this off though. I'm just this is again for demonstrating purposes so you can see. So pretty much what I have done here is let me just chop away actually at oops, drop down what I have made here. It's a bit of a redstone contraption, is that uh, you can't exactly see, but uh, I'll actually demonstrate really quick, maybe, yeah, I'll demonstrate really quick if I can just find lava. I'm, not, I'm never good at finding this kind of stuff, so don't blame me, ever. Okay, it takes forever, not my fault, kind of story. Uh, I, I know there are buckets here, but oh, there they are, I'm just... I'll keep those, I'll get rid of the torches, and I'll uh, get rid of this glowstone, because I was also screwing around with the aesthetics. Anyways, pretty much how this works is that, uh, I'm just going to make a smaller version right here. As you can see, well, no, not like that, I'm stupid. This is a very miniature version, just for demonstrative purposes. Uh, no. Yes, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to this kind of stuff, but uh, what can you do? Uh, yes, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. No, right click, left click, right click. All right, that's going good. And finally, a little bit of a piston to put here. And pretty much what I am doing here is I have this set up. This is, this is beginning to making one of these. This is just a very... Oh, no. 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 Poor K. Let me just dry that off real quick, then. No! I can't. I have to pick up the water. Damn it! I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. God damn it. I'm terrible at this. Oh, here we go. I got my... I got a bucket. I got a bucket. It is all good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is... This is going all right. Sadly, I lost my stuff and stuff. Uh, I'm stupid. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do it like that. I won't try to be fancy this time. Are you kidding me? It's still in there. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, is there one in there? Oh my god, really? This is stupid. Uh, that, that'll get pushed out or something. I don't know. Are you serious? This is aggravating. What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna place blocks then. Screw this. Nope. 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 And nope. Okay, is this all good? Alright. I'm gonna try not to be an idiot this time. Anyways, the basis of how one of these things works is that you have first a cobblestone generator. Like that. Uh, give it a sec since that takes a bit. Yeah. You have a cobblestone generator. And then you have this, which will push out the cobblestone. A new one will form. 
it'll push it out, push it back in, new one forms, push it out, push it back in, new one forms, and so on, thus creating a cobblestone generator that is useful. And if there's cobblestone, of course, it will not leak. So how is then, uh, after I hook that up, I have to make a ticker or a clock, so to speak. And I just made this like a maintenance tunnel in case uh, something with the server, ha with uh, the game happens, they can just reset it with that. And pretty much what you have to do is time it correctly so that this clock, you know, it goes around constantly and you have to make it in, uh, I'm not sure exactly how I did this. You could always make a normal one. I just made it a bit more complicated than it had to be. And then you have to make this tick, that clock, clock, so to speak. And you have to hook it up to this piston that is pushing it out. And also to these pistons, these three pistons right here that I've hidden. Uh, yeah. As you can see, three pistons right under the door here. Very sneaky. And then if I, you have to get lucky with the synchronizing kind of. So I have no clue how I did it myself. So it's kind of luck and stuff. And then pretty much what will happen is if you time it correctly, it will push out the, the cobblestone, pull it back in by the time it generates and pushes that out. So pretty much it, it works in harmony where that will push a block out, push back in, that'll push out the block that's just been pushed in, push back in, and repeat until it's all good. So, uh, pretty much this is very useful for places where you you know, don't want stuff to blow up. And it's really not that hard. All you need to do is get the timing down right. Because it's it's a generator, a piston, a clock, and three more pistons. And then the clock just has to be used to calculate differences because, uh, I mean, that, that seems reasonable time right there between them. Uh, so I'd have to say between the two, actually no, because there's more over there. You, you'll figure it out yourself if you're planning on making this. It is not that difficult. It took me like a couple minutes just to figure it out, which isn't that bad. And then, of course, let me just demonstrate a second time. Do that. Boom. It blows up the bridge and automatically, you know, it just starts rebuilding, which is great because then, if you can see here, it works in harmony because there are a bunch of repeaters over there so that by the time that gets pushed out it retracts and that pushes out retracts and so on and so forth sorry if I'm not too great at explaining and uh, you can really pray this up like for example something you could do right here is just boom just cover all of this up like that and make it look nice and symmetrical and also you, you don't see the ugly like remnants of what's actually happening. It's not that hard to disguise. Uh, and it's also practical when you like for a bridge where you don't want a bridge to break, for example. Because, you know, possibly it's protecting something very important. I don't know. It's uh, your call. And then, yeah, it's it keeps on going and it'll only activate once it because uh, the reason it can't push anymore is either because it's, it's max or it has hit obsidian, which cannot be pushed. So once it hits that, the clock keeps going. And once it detects, so to speak, that it can push, it will until it can no longer go. And it goes row by row where the first row does it because as the cobblestone's pushed out, because it works in harmony, one hits there, keeps going. And if it can't go, it'll go to the second row, repeat, third row, repeat, and then just fully stock this so it'll push out three at once the next time it's broken. Really practical, and uh, I just made it look aesthetically pleasing. You could easily uh, tidy this up, I don't know. So, uh, I'll just end this video with me making this look pretty. Yay! To show how you can disguise a cobblestone generator inside of, uh, for example, this is kind of like a border patrol slash train station, and it does not look ugly at all. Uh, let's get some dirt. Can't find this dirt. Is that dirt? No, that's not dirt. Ooh, dirt. Let's put away that stone. Get the dirt and just disguise this. And you know, if you look at this, you would never guess that this is uh, 
just kind of where there's a redstone contraption. You would you would not guess that ever. I mean, unless you are very suspicious, but you can easily just make this look a lot more natural through hill forming, etc., etc. And then if this is just the access hatch, so should the circuit ever break or something, just go in there, click that button that I had for ease of use, and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, I have a lot of inventions. Uh, this is looking very nice, actually. I like this. This is this is aesthetically pleasing. I mean, to be able to walk through, you have this cool little statue design that took me a bit. Holes in the roof. You got you got everything. You got this, that. I make like little office. Oh yeah, and something very nice that I like about this is the little pillars I have on the left here. Pretty nice. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy my inventions. Gonna try to get some more maybe soon. So, uh, yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm flying. Yay.